Okay, here we are. We're going to take this all electric F-150 out for another run. You can see we've got a pretty big load here. This is called wet mulch. So we're about uh, 60 pounds, to something like that per bag. So you can see everything's real here. Uh, still waiting on, see what's taking Ford so long. This is not built by Ford. This is built by Ebgen here at gin.com and this is a 100% all electric f-150 all the OEM parts remain the same OEM pedal key switch all the clusters original except the only thing that's missing is the engine block so the engine blocks gone but you can see the transmission still here the braking system still here uh, ABS is still here, coolant system is still here because, you know, this is cool, that's why this is so small. Electric motors down here, connected to the transmission. We still use the battery and we still use the Ford computer. So we're going to take this to the dump, we're going to show you that it, it goes down the highway. And we're just wondering why Ford can't do this and we're ready to sell these right now. So here we are, we're getting ready to pull out. Got my blinker on, so we're gonna pull out on the road. Usually we run these with an Allison transmission, but you can see the takeoff's pretty good. Look at that. Changing gears with the Ford transmission. That's all Ford, we're 100% Ford right now, and we're already doing 40 miles an hour. Fully loaded trailer back here, and I already had to slow down. So you can see we're already uh, breaking the speed limit on this and you can see the RPMs everything switching Well, let me just get up to speed a little bit more and really we're uh, getting close to 60 So we're gonna have to slow down And just we're still curious is why Ford still can't do this uh, So let's uh, let's take it quite a distance and go weigh it so you can see how much this whole vehicle weighs Okay, so here we are. Now we're gonna go into regen because this vehicle does have regen. Even though it uses the transmission, it does have regen. So you can see that we're coming up on a red light here and you can see the transmissions in regen. Here we are, we're taking off at a light again, and we're gonna punch it. You can see transmission's working great. Still got this very heavy load. Gaining speed. Coming up on the next line. See, we're going up this hill. We're still doing about 55 miles an hour. Still cresting a hill, actually gain speed going up the hill with a fully loaded trailer. There it is, still loaded. We are, I know we're in a 45 mile an hour zone, but you know, you can see that we're still doing around 65 miles an hour, maybe more, I don't know. Yeah, coming up on 70, still fully loaded trailer. Unbelievable. Why are we the only ones doing this? Okay, here we are at the scales. You can see that we're at the scales here. This is where all the dump trucks go. We've got a full load right here still. Uh, you can see we were going up hills, doing a full load, going all the way uphill. But here's the key. This is where a lot of companies went out of business. They overheated their system going those speeds. That is probably about 90 degrees. Oh, this is water cool, about 90 degrees. Very, very cool. Everything's very cool because we got uh, quite a good system. Plus, we're not stressing out the electric motor either. We're not stressing out the batteries or anything. That's why we don't catch our motors on fire. We know how to design a system. And it's completely powered by Evgen, as you can see. So let's go scale this thing. Big trucks. We can build a truck like that all electric. 
Okay, here we go. Gotta ease it in. Yeah, can you verify the weight on this? We're just gonna turn it around. We've got a full load back here. Uh, we wanna know the, can you give the total weight of this vehicle? Is there a fee like for that? for an official purpose? Yeah. No, um, okay. like you can do that, but we don't do official weight. Okay, so we don't know how much this vehicle weighs. So five and a half tons is about uh, 8,000 pounds? No, it's over 10,000 pounds. We're over 10,000 pounds right now? Okay. Yeah. All right, full electric, over 10,000 pounds. I'm just gonna turn around up here, okay? Yeah. Okay, so there you go. Uh, we just got the sheet, uh, five and a half ton. We're over 10,000 pounds. And we're just trying to figure out why no one else is doing this. Evgen apparently has the most powerful system. I'm just, it's all OEM here. Uh, everything in here is OEM. Why is Ford not doing this on their electric truck? I mean, we can go up hills, we can go highway speeds. We can sit here like this and we can take off. We don't want to jar our load, but Transmission's working. That's fully the transmission changing gears. Oh, just just hit a speed bump. Well, we we're going way too fast for that. But you know what? Our load's still there. We just hit a speed bump, doing over 40 miles an hour. But yeah, you know that's the exciting part of doing videos. You don't know what the hell you're doing when you're videoing at the same time. But so here we go. We're just going to go back and we're going to we're going to look at energy consumption as well. So here we go. We've got our blinker on. Everything works. Everyone asks why the if the windows work. I don't know why. So here we go. We're just going to pull out. Uh, the electric motor stays nice and cool. We're taking off at full speeds. Transmission's working. Gaining speed. Now we're going to go into regen. Now I let my foot off the pedal. We're now in regen mode see and here we are coming up on a red light we're in regen mode using a transmission we're in regen mode everyone see we're taking off there's a dodge he's trying to keep, keep up with me dodge cummins hey cummins your uh your diesel can't even keep up with me. i'm fully loaded and he's still back there but oh boy we gotta hit our brakes so yeah we're staying with traffic fully loaded these guys aren't even loaded they just left the dump so they'd be moving a lot slower. So yeah, it is true. Electric motors have more torque, but when you use a transmission, you get four times the amount of torque with one motor. Something a lot of other vehicles, uh, electric vehicle companies haven't figured out for some reason. But you can see this one's performing pretty well. Okay, here we are, we're still sitting at the red light, but we're gonna take off with these trucks. Remember, these trucks are unloaded. We've got this Cummins Allison guy behind us, so. Okay, we did not shift our load, but you can see these guys are unloaded and we're fully loaded and we're still passing them. We're still passing these guys. Shows you how much torque a one electric motor can have with the transmission and we're already breaking the speed limit so we're going to slow down we're in regen now we're back in regen oh, i have my foot on the paddle but uh it shows you we can keep up with these unloaded trucks no problem with one motor remember we have much bigger motors for the class eights like that in front of us so you can see we're going to go faster we're going to be more efficient we don't use four motors we only use one motor it only takes one motor with the transmission to do this and you can see the performance is incredible and the temperature stays very low, which means you get a very long life on your batteries and your electric motor assembly. Yeah, so this class A goes electric, he's wanting to race it for some reason. I'm trying to race it now. I don't want to race, but I mean, I can definitely help. So let's just 
go ahead and regen. He's using fuel back there. Now he's on my ass. Yeah, they know we're electric. And he could not keep up with this even with the empty load. Okay, we're back where we started from. Uh, looks like our our load shift, yep, it shifted. So that's because I didn't have it strapped down, but yeah, this is over 11,000 pounds total vehicle. How much more? And everything's still nice and cool. Very nice and cool. Right here, yep, this is cool too. So you can see, we back it's uh, fully loaded and that was the results we'll have more uh, about the kilowatt hour next scene all right we just unloaded the trailer you can see it's not here anymore but my gosh the truck does feel light but you have to realize we're we were using uh half the that's only 200 amps so i was using half the power this vehicle is capable of so i'm gonna punch it and just see oh gee now oh yeah Oh my gosh. Yeah, oh yeah, a lot more power. So yeah, I could feel that kind of loads, but that was over 11,000 pounds. So let's go back to the charging station and see how much energy we used on this one run.